Hey everybody, how you doing? Out at the range today. This is about to be a really fun video. Out here today, I have my Taurus Raging Judge Magnum. Before you say, ooh, whoopee doo dah, it's a Taurus Judge. This is the monster Taurus Judge. So, you can probably tell by just the size of my hand there. This is not the regular Judge. This is the Judge Magnum, like I said. This also is the 454 Casul. So, We've got a whole bunch of watermelons you can see here. We're gonna get some of these things. But the loads that I have here today, two different three inch 410s. One is a slug and one is a five shot buckshot. A 45 long colt and then 454 Casol. That baby has a whole lot of boogie on it. But let me show you a quick closer look at the revolver and the ammo here. And then we're gonna get to blowing these suckers up with some slow motion should be a whole lot of fun here is the buckshot there's some golden bear stuff some brass 410 you might have never seen those before then we're gonna go to the three inch slug it's a quarter ounce slug then we're gonna go to the 45 long colt 250 grain xtp same bullet in both of these and these are loaded by great lakes firearms and ammunition so there's the 45 long colt and there's the 454 casul exact same 250 grain bullet but the 454 has got taller brass and some more boogie inside of it let's line these up should be a whole lot of fun let's see what happens i've got to hold this thing up quick just to show you guys the size of this thing this thing is huge if you ever see one of these pick it up and put it in your hand this is like twice the size of the regular judge that most people have heard of. This thing is huge so that it can also be strong enough to be able to shoot those high pressure 454 Casul rounds. But I'm gonna go ahead and load this thing up. This thing, it doesn't just have your standard push button here. You gotta pull this one down and push this one in and then it'll pop out. But uh, you know what? I forgot which direction this cylinder turns. Turns to the left. So, here's how we're going to load it. That buckshot first. Then I'm going to load that quarter ounce slug. Then, the 45 long colt. Man, and this thing's a six shot too. It's not a five shot, it's a six shot. Then last, we got that 454 Casul. Woo-wee! Sweet, sweet, sweet. So I'm going to close it up on that last empty cylinder. And we're ready to rock on that first 410 buckshot. But let's set up those melons and see what we can do with this thing. Ooh, look at that fiber optic front sight. I love that thing. All right, here goes that buckshot. This is about at five yards. Hopefully we don't get too much watermelon back at us. Buckshot, five yards. See what happens here. Oh boy. Hmm. I am dead center. You know what? I'm going to load up another one of those. I know I was dead center on that, but surely at five yards, it wouldn't have veered off that much. But let me go grab another one of those. Surely I didn't flinch that bad, but... Maybe I was just anticipating it. Here's another one of those buckshot five pellet loads. I'll pull the trigger dead center on this. Hmm. Not too much devastation as I would have wanted. Let's go to that quarter ounce slug next. All right, now we're at the Winchester Super X quarter ounce slug. And just like that last one, I'm gonna aim dead beans in the end of that watermelon. Maybe we'll get a little bit more action out of this slug here. Oh yeah, so safe to say a slug has a lot more knockdown power, a lot more boogie, a lot more ouch than that five shot buckshot. 
let's go set up the 45 long colt all right same thing with the 45 long colt i'm gonna aim dead beans in the end of this watermelon here i'm not expecting there to be much left out of this one I think the slug had a bigger exploding effect. I can see I hit that watermelon dead in the end of it. So it wasn't a shot, but so far it looks like that slug had more ouch on that watermelon than the long cold. That's kind of strange to me, but what do I know? Let's go load up the 454 Casul. All right, last shot here. Let's shoot that hot 454 Casul and see what happens with this baby. Yeah, so. I'm sure you guys can see it in the slow-mo, but feeling that in my hand, whoa. A lot more kickback, a lot more recoil, a lot more pushback into my hand. My hand, just a little bit of a sting on those 454 consoles, but yeah, 454 is a monster. All right, so here's how I'm gonna load this thing. Quarter ounce slug. Then the 45 Long Colt. Then the 454 Casul. Let's see what it's going to read on the chronograph here. And I'm from about three yards away. So see what happens here first with that quarter ounce slug. Had quite the fireball on that one. 1326. Let's do the 45 Long Colt here. Eight fifty. So that slug has quite a bit more boogie on it than that forty-five long colt. Now four fifty-four Casul. Let's see if it can beat the speed of that slug there. Two hundred and fifty grams. Two hundred and fifty-four Casul. Error! You got to be kidding me. That ammo costs too much money for there to be errors. <laughs> Let me load another one. Expensive. Apparently my chronograph thinks I'm full of money. Here's another 454 Casul. Hopefully this one reads. This ammo is not cheap, I'm here to tell you. Error. I think I must be too close to the chronograph, the fireball flame or something's throwing it off so let me step it off to at least five yards and see if it'll do anything different i hate to keep this stuff it really is pretty expensive that 454 stuff well now i've stepped this off to i'm about seven eight yards hopefully this one works with this 454 here Surely this one will work. Let's see what happens here. Thirteen ninety-one. There you have it. Well, there you have it, guys. There's the chronograph readings. That 454 must have just been throwing too much of a fireball and messing up with the light on this thing. But we finally got it. The slugs and the 454 Casul out of this thing are absolutely no slouch. A lot faster than a 45 ACP bullet, even with the heavier 250 grain rounds. So hot, hot stuff in that 454 Casul if you've never messed with it before. But 
thanks for watching the video today guys a big shout out to the heavy metal channel everybody go check them out and subscribe don't forget to subscribe to the hoo channel if you haven't already stay tuned for more videos we'll see you on the next one hoo